Hello and welcome back. So in the last video, we were able to play with our spectrum analysis of how to change the RBW settings, the VBW settings, uh, power settings, averaging, and the number of channels. In this video, I would like to show you some more additional functionality. As you can see that channel one is doing spectrum analysis and channel two is doing S parameters. As I mentioned in my last video, it's very useful for customers who want to see both the S parameters and spectrum analysis on a single window of their devices. This helps. You can also control the sweeping so when when spectrum analysis and s parameters are both open as separate channels it's a sequential sweeping so that's why if you go to sweep settings and you see enable sweep time you will see that the numbers are changing from 126 milliseconds and 277 milliseconds the reason is that the 127 seconds is for the spectrum analysis and the 277 is for the S parameter channel 2. So if I go back to channel and I reduce or bring back only to spectrum analysis, I go back into channel sweep and now you'll see that it's giving me the sweep time as well under the settings that we have done for spectrum analysis right now it's showing me 126.9 or 127 milliseconds and if you go inside this menu and the display sweep time is off right now so for some users they would want to see somewhere on the screen the time that the sweep takes. So if you hit this button, it says display sweep time and it says data pane mode. You can see here that now the sweep time will always be visible. So if I close this, I can always monitor the sweep time. Apart from the sweep time, few more things that I would like to show you is related to math functions. For better view, let's reduce the data points to say 201 and you can see that now the sweep speed is much faster. So if I go into display, You can see right now that the intertrace math is off. Other functionalities like viewing the data or the memory is also available. So if I store the data to memory and I just want to see the memory or I want to see data and memory, all those functionalities are available. You could have different colors for different trace configurations and their behavior. Some more functionality on the intertrace math is what I would like to show you. So if I go to intertrace math, by default it's simple operations. But some spectrum analyzer users would want to see functionalities such as max hold, min hold, median, mean, etc. So we have equation editor 
which is a standard VNA function. It's available for spectrum analysis as well. And we can do a lot of functions like min, max, marker, a lot of functionality available in the equation editor. Let's start with say max hold conditions. So I just double click on max hold and you see that a parenthesis is open now. I would want to do channel one and trace one. I would like to see the max hold. So once that is done, I just close the parenthesis. And when I hit apply, the math function should be applicable. So here, first we have to tell the software that instead of simple operations, we want to use equation editor. And if I hit on, you will see that the max hold functionality is applied. And you will also see here that the spectrum analyzer is using equation for the calculations. If I switch it back to off and go back to the equation editor and instead of max hold, say suppose I choose min hold. I just have to double click here. Make sure that there are no extra parentheses. In this case, it is because we added the functionality. But once this is added, again, I hit apply and the calculation to use is equation editor. I hit on. And as you can see, for each and every point, the min hold is applied. This functionality is very useful for a lot of customers. In the next video, I would want to run you through broadband spectrum analysis and some more features. Thank you for watching.